on our magnificent journey. Over here, we've got Bodos, the Bodos build, which again, same, same thing with the with the stuck icon there. Uh, this does have the uh, the modules in it. So the Bodos build is pretty simple. It is a uh, substrate in. I think this is the standard fungal substrate with the uh, spores and biomass. That's it. I haven't needed any more Bodos at all uh, this entire time. I have produced more than what I need, even just based off of this. You don't actually need a ton of Bodos uh, in your base uh, as a whole, as long as you are not using a lot of the things that use them. There are some recipes, I think, that if you are heavily depending upon them will increase your amount of bodos that you need, but I have avoided them, generally speaking. Now, as we go further and further to the right, uh, from here, uh, we have a tar extraction zone and depots, not really using that too awfully much. Uh, and then there's like some, let's see, this is all part of the stainless steel inputs that'll go down down there uh, over here we've got the copper so the copper production area producing some glorious molten copper lots of lots of plates this is this is hot air the next so this oh, that's not the icon I wanted that's the icon I wanted this is hot air the next I need to have an, a hot air input over here don't think I need hot air inputs anywhere else oh yeah this the uranium ore mining is happening uh, right over here. I am using distillates into gasoline uh, to get uranium. The mega mine for uranium does use gasoline, unlike the regular mines, mining drills on uranium, which use sulfuric acid. Not much sulfuric acid, but still above zero amounts. Uh, and again, this is beaconed the hell out of to produce... Uh, like at the tick rate of stuff with productivity. So more than 72, so like I think 80, 80, somewhere around along those lines per second at 30% productivity, something like that. What is 60 times 1.3? Cause that would be the value, uh, I think. Uh, 78, so it's 78 per second. I would, I would think, if I go over there and I click on the thing, it'll actually tell me what the amount is. I would hope. Anyway. Uh, so that's, that's just the ore. The ore is getting put onto the train network. I had planned to do a little bit more here and brought in sulfuric acid for use on actual ore processing of uranium, but we're doing that elsewhere. Uh, let's see, as we continue along... Uh, the copper needs grade 4 on the train network. I need grade 4 for a very specific item. Uh, graphene, I think. Copper. Uh, it's grade 4 copper. Uh, dimethyl dichlorosilane, which is part of PDMS for graphene. Hey, it's, it's the graphene chain. Yep, that's exclusively why I have grade 4 copper here. That, I know that off the top of my head, should be telling. That should be telling. Uh, also, molten for various alloys uh, is being put onto uh, the network in here. This makes a lot of copper. Uh, going on down the line, right here I have cages being produced. Uh, we need a few cages. Uh, this is also where I produce my uh, beautiful... Uh, solder, uh, and this also needs some hot air. Excuse me, this also needs hot air. So make sure I make note of that. Over here, I have Orum. Orum, I have actually recently changed, and I don't think I made note of it uh, at all. I now am doing the growth factor pesticide recipe for Orum, uh, and I only, I only need two of them. I only need two of them at Mark II. These higher tiered recipes take acid gas in interestingly enough 
Uh, I have acid gas. I have a I have a, a lot of acid gas, uh, as well as uh, a single building here at the end to produce uh, seeds. Now, what I have done here, acid gas production returns seeds, but despite what Immortal may have attempted to do, uh, it still overproduces seeds. Uh, compared to what you need. So I've made sure that this const that this is flowing by voiding excess seeds. I think he tried to make it so that the acid gas consumption cure evened it out based off of the production of stuff, but no, that's not going to work considering that the amount of orum you get with increased recipes increases the efficiency of your seeds. You get more out per seed as you increase the level of recipe that you get here. So when acid gas returns seeds and when DMS returns a single seed for each of these, uh, you end up with a net gain of orum or a backup of seeds. Uh, so anyway, this this is our our Orum factory, it's making some acid gas that I need as well as DMS primarily, as well as some sulfuric acid through a nice little loop here. Does not need productivity, I just did that for laughs, but uh, it, do it does loop without the productivity here, the uh, petroleum gas. So this is aromatics in and hydrogen in to produce petroleum ga uh, gas with a bit of tin chromium alloy. Uh, so you're consuming tin chromium alloy here, as well as hydrogen, which is water, uh, to make petroleum. And that then you can use that with acid gas and water to produce sulfuric acid and sl a bit more than enough aromatics to go back into the system to keep the petroleum gas flowing. It's a bit more... Uh, aromatics uh, in the end so you have to vent some aromatics you have to deal with the steam in here and provide enough water but it you don't need to add in any petroleum gas this also consumes some regular chromium so it's it's nice it's it's neat it's neat just throw a little starting amount of aromatics into here and it will just f go for you converting uh, acid gas into sulfuric acid uh, at the cost of a little bit of a couple of plates there. Uh, from here, you can see all the all the stuff involved in that particular factory. As we continue down the line, I have silicon production. Uh, uh, just a, just a little bit of silicon. Silicon uses a ton of pure sand uh, to make it. So yeah, there's there's silicon. It exists. It's it's there. Uh, I have tufra, tufra and tufra and uh, stuff. That is my alarm saying that it's the it's the halfway point. Uh, and sugar. It is tufra and sugar here, and we'll I'll take my break after talking a little bit here about the tufra. It looks like I have plenty of sugar, but it's stopped because why? What did I break here? Ah, that's what I broke. I broke I broke a thing. Here, let me go let me go fix that real quick. Uh, and then I'll take my break. So the uh the two for build was fifteen per second on the recipe that I used for it, and it seems like I used a uh ancient enough recipe slash low tiered enough recipe that it doesn't use uh pesticides. Uh so it did not break with the big pesticide update uh, that happened. Just going to go over to the right here to make sure that I have those bones flowing and I keep my production going. Right there. That gets the bones going again. Uh, so this is ash, coarse fraction, soil, biomass, manure, tufra, seeds and water uh using mark 2 2 for us so actually i think this is 30 per second out if flowing freely 
uh, of tufra minus what I need for the actual sugar down here at the end. Uh, so there's 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 the tufra, and with that I will be taking a brief break uh, for about three minutes, and when I return we'll continue going through our little grand tour of the base as I identify where I need to add uh, hot air. I will be back shortly. And I have returned. Welcome back. Okay, continuing along our merry way on this little tour of the base. Next up on the line out here is the Vrauk Cocoons. Or, shall I say, a Vrauk Cocoons factory. Uh, this is like one per second of Vrauk Cocoons. Uh, it's, it's an older, older, old, old factory that's been here. A few hundred hours, you you know, just uh, it's a few hundred hours it's been here. Just a, just a few. Uh, it's uh, very, very much outdated, and I have uh, a different factory uh, giving me a bunch more than this. Uh, it is, however, using Mark II Vrauk, uh, so at least it's got that going for it. And, of course, there is no chance in hell that I have built on top of uh, a resource there. No chance in hell have I actually built on top of a resource there. Uh, so continuing along, right up here, uh, I have uh, chlorine. Now, remember the HCL factory? This is the same thing, except it only outputs chlorine. I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's as simple as that. It is the same, except only chlorine and no bots uh, involved in this. Now, the area over here, this is Grod production. This one did break, unfortunately, with the update uh, adding pesticides, so I did have to uh, update this uh, a little bit. It now produces sub significant amounts of Grod. I am unsure exactly how many it produces, but uh, it produces a lot. A lot is what I should say here. It is now using the Growth Factor Pesticide Mark II recipe, uh, along with urea, soil, biomass, limestone, seeds, fertilizer, and ash. Yeah, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine solid inputs, you know, plus water and slaked lime. Plus water and slaked lime. So, you know, it's it's got a few inputs uh, to make uh, the grod. But it makes all the grod on the planet. And all of the grod on the planet is being used, of course, to make bedding. In the best bedding recipes. Uh, the bedding... Oh, hey, it's hot air again. Uh, I need the hottest of the hot air over here for this. Uh, this is Vrauk raising from cocoons that are then being converted, slaughtered, uh, for their, for their blood, uh, their blood being formic acid. Uh, we've got some Yotoi coming in to make leaves, uh, and Grod being dried to go into bedding. Through the better bedding recipe in these beautiful bio factories, uh, which, by the way, should all have an extra module slot. Now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it, they all should have a fourth module slot. Uh, with my current mod setup, so let me let me just confirm that that yes, they do have four rather than three. Moving on from there, as we continue on our merry way we now have all of this middle stuff to deal with how the hell am i going to go through all of this middle stuff we were working our way left to right left to right top to bottom so i guess uh this is going to start with this little spur line here uh so over here i have the graphene build the graphene build with a whole 
bunch of different processes built into it that no longer need to exist because I have all of them being made and brought onto the network separately. Like I have a whole silicon production here that doesn't need to be here. I can just bring in silicon. I can just bring the silicon in. Uh, the boric, I think, needs to stay. The etching, I guess, is just here to be here. I don't. I could just put etching on my network. I don't need gasoline production here. I could bring gasoline in. Like what? What even is the uh, stuff here? Oh yeah, for the etching. Of of course, all that's for just the etching. So, if I had etching on the network. That'd be great. I have biofilm now on my network, so none of the stuff for the biofilm needs to exist here. Same with the moss. I can bring the moss in. I can bring the incubated petri dishes in if I really need to. I can, like, just kill a lot of this. But in the end, it just makes graphene productively more than what I need. And it's also a really, really long train station. One of the longer train stations in here. Now, I will note while I'm here... Right here, uh, we've got a, uh, a power zone. Uh, this is power out of natural gas. Uh, lots of modules, lots of beacons, and all of that good stuff on big oil patches. So hey, there's, a, there's another thing. I have, I have tapped a set of big oil over here. Uh, what's the difference? Uh, these have a faster mining speed. Uh, on the big oil derricks as opposed to the small and medium uh, oil derricks. I think these are 1.5 base mining speed, uh, which does mean that they can output more per second. Uh, these now, all of the oil derricks have an internal fluid buffer size of 500 units uh, of fluid, which means that it is able to do 500 units per cycle uh, of the machine of fluid. As opposed to, you know, the vanilla mechanics and the vanilla pump jacks that only have an internal fluid box size of 100 units, which means that they can only ever produce 100 units per cycle, regardless of the resource density of the oil patch that they're on, uh, irrespective of uh, productivity. Uh, so that's why speed is more important on these, because the, f the more cycles you can do per second, the more output you have uh, from these oil derricks. Um, so yeah, that's, it's it's just producing power out of, nat out of natural gas using uh, biomass for the powerhouse recipes uh, to produce the uh, glorious combustion mixture at 600 C. Uh, this uh, makes a, it makes a little bit. It makes a little bit. I've got 40 combustion turbines here. That's a uh, you know a few. Uh, the max available power out of these is 77.4 megawatts. So if we do 77.4 uh, and multiply that by 40. Uh, the answer to that is 3,096. 3,096. So this is a 3 gigawatt. 3 gigawatt uh, power in th in this footprint. 3 gigawatts ish. Ish. Of power. Assuming everything actually works. Which, you know, nev nothing ever properly works. Uh, at least for me. Now up here, uh, this is my industrial solvent and soda ash factory. This is relatively new, uh, added for the uh, production of yellow cake uh, through further uranium processing. Uh, this is bringing organic solvent in as well as gasoline in. Uh, and I think something else. No, it's just it's just organic solvent and gasoline to produce stuff uh it's making the ash locally i think for this does this need this does this does need ash it's making the ash locally it's making the syngas locally out of natural gas so natural gas into syngas venting the uh flue gas here because i have biomass from crude oil into flue gas not the hot air recipe not the hot air recipe uh, then flue gas into ash into uh, the soda ash regen solution up here. Uh, saline is being made out of condensed distillates, uh, which is coming out of the gasoline uh, that I have brought in the 
organic solvent is used to make the industrial solvent. Industrial solvent uses uh, syngas, organic solvent, and soda ash. But I need both of them uh, for the beautiful yellow cake process. So since they're both required, one is an ingredient of the other, uh, I figured let's just make both of these and stick them onto my train network. And it works. It works fine. Just fine. Now over here... Oh god, where do I start with all of this BS? Uh, let's start below over with here. Do I start with a Neo? Yes, let's start with Neo. So Neobium uh, is being mined out here. Uh, Neobium needs refined syngas uh, in order to mine the actual ore as well as drill heads. Um... There's local production of drill heads here, as I had mentioned, I now have them on my train network so I could bring them in whenever I want. Uh, here's uh, some refined syngas from petroleum from aromatics. Uh, this does need aromatics in uh, for this, unlike the uh, method to produce the sulfuric acid. Uh, this does not output aromatics. This outputs some tar, but the tar doesn't white loop back enough aromatics so it does need some more tar I, I think yes I have, an, I have an overflow valve or an underflow valve excuse me to bring more tar in as required to produce the aromatics to keep the stuff flowing the petroleum gas uh, and I produce uh, the heat the hydrogen for that there uh, so that's the refined syn gas so I can mine the ore and then the actual ore processing part of it. It's not that long of a chain, but all of the steps along the chain can take productivity. I'm going to sneeze. Okay, I've, I've done the thing. Moving right along. Uh, it's a short chain, but every step along the way takes productivity. Um, there is a hot air recipe for this, but it does not by default take productivity. Uh, my current settings with Bob's modules uh, would allow me to use productivity on the hot air recipe, which would make it objectively better, but as it currently stands by default, the hot air recipe for the niobium and the molybdenum, uh, which are the, the two cases here where you can do productivity on the whole chain up to the end, uh, it does not allow productivity. So it's objectively better for me to just do productivity on the uh, regular plate recipe rather than the hot air recipe. I have not done this adjustment, though, on the molybdenum. So I'm pretty sure the molybdenum is using hot air. I can uh, make that note uh, ahead of time. But uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the Neobium build. Uh, I am bringing in the hydrogen chloride, organic solvent, and ammonia, and a whole bunch of other stuff I actually no longer need uh, in order to uh, do this processing. Uh, standard ore processing here, just de deal with the gravel and the stone and the sand outputs. Uh, otherwise, in here, this is where you need a ton of organic solvent and HCl to actually make the complex. I have the complex being put onto my train network. Uh, and then you need ammonia to make the uh, oxide that gets processed into the uh, plates themselves. So lots of lots of production of stuff here for uh, the niobium, the glorious niobium. Now salt, of course, is coming from over here. Uh, this stuff is actually part of a separate build that is below, so we'll get to that when I get to that point uh, below. Up here, this glorious high entity count area, uh, this is phosphine uh, and phosphoric acid and uh, phosphate rocks. So all of the phosphate processing is being done over here. Uh, got some phosphate mines giving me all the rocks. The rocks are being put onto the train network. For some reason, I decided to put a whole bunch of like extra outputs onto the train network over here as well, uh, including some overflow HCL, tailings, syngas, and saline water. I don't use this anywhere. Or this. 
I don't I don't use the excess sin gas or saline water anywhere. I'm not re requesting it anywhere. I don't I don't think I am anyway. Anyway, I think I'm requesting tailings. I am requesting tailings in one spot for an exolet, but and I am requesting HCL, but eh, not quite all, all the things. Uh, so I have phosphorus acid, phosphine, and phosphoric acid in here. The phosphorus, phosphine, and phosphoric on the left. Uh, phosphorus acid is only used in the lead processing chain. I'm pretty sure the high-grade lead processing chain uses that. Uh, phosphine used several things in the mall, as well as phosphoric acid. Uh, also, I am using phosphine to make hydrogen chloride uh, in my mall uh, right now. Uh, the actual processing chain involves a lot of wood uh, input, uh, as well as tons of pure sand. Tons of pure sand uh, to actually make the phosphorus acid uh, semi-updated with productivity and all that good stuff. I could delete all of this, for example. Uh, I can... I am producing ungodly amounts of pure sand down here with far fewer entities, so I could just remove a lot of this. Uh, help improve my performance. I don't even need the wood here anymore at all. Uh, still need ash to some extent, but not ash for this uh, wood production, especially now that I'm bringing wood in from elsewhere. Uh, so there's 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 the, the beautiful phosphoric acid stuff. Uh, I have coke being brought in as well uh, over here. Now over here, the next item on the agenda, this is the chromium build. The beautiful chromium build. Chromium also needs syngas to mine. Uh, this is five yellow belts of chromium being processed through uh, grade three grade 3 processing into chromite sand. Yes, I can go further than this. No, I have not done so yet. Uh, yes, I do plan to do so before the end, but this is just our grand tour for the moment. Uh, I will need to do uh, gold processing, and that means that I have to go far beyond grade 3 processing of chromium. It's making a few plates. A few plates. Uh, I'm not doing hot air. I am not doing the hot air processing on this particular setup. Wow, okay. Alright, sure. Not doing the hot air. I have lots of molten. I am casting molten uh, for that. Now down below, just briefly, uh, is the old bedding build. This was one per second of bedding that I had built down here with Grodd, Yotoy, kick out all that good stuff. This this was just a tiny bit of bedding. Also, I apparently am consuming bedding from these from this because this is listed first, I think, on the uh on the priorities. So it actually pulls from these first. I should reverse that or just remove this entirely. Uh over here, this setup this setup, we're actually we're following this line to here, so now we're we're looking at all this stuff. The production in here. So A, I have a whole bunch of coke and uh, CO2 that I no longer really need to do. I don't I don't need to do this process exactly. I there are better ways of getting CO2 from uh from biomass uh, in particular. That's the one that I should be using to go into all of this casting of stuff uh making molten that's what uses all the co2 um better ways but haven't updated it yet I, what i have updated is my production of coke as is provided to my train network so my train network has access to production of over 500 units per second over 500 units per second of uh of coke uh, going straight from coal to coke. So that's a thing. That's a thing. Uh, this is also a fueling station. You can see all my all my coke trains sitting and waiting. Uh, this is also a fueling station. The fueling station is fueling with rocket fuel. So all of my 
trains at this point are being fueled by rocket fuel. Uh, rocket fuel is made out of kerosene uh, and oxygen. Uh, I so I just I made I did I did kerosene. Kerosene is uh, there is a low distillates recipe for kerosene, so I just made low distillates, and, and it's uh, TiCl4 titanium tetrachloride. So I just brought in titanium tetrachloride as well as the crude oil. That's my kerosene. Can easily make oxygen, uh, and then yeah, there's there's all of the rocket fuel I could ever desire, and I have set up a various uh, train stations for fuel stops uh, around the base. All right, right next door to all of that shenaniganry, right next door, right in here is the titanium setup. The titanium setup has a wonderful acetylene build. Uh, for the actual mining of the titanium. This is five yellow belts of titanium being processed all the way through to G4, grade 4 titanium, uh, and then it is being processed directly into plates. There is no hot air in this process because I am not doing molten uh, for it. Um, and I have yet to update this to the molten, but I've gotten, I have plenty of titanium production as it stands i haven't needed to produce any more and go into molten so yeah uh going into molten by the way uh will we'll require this stuff called mibc or methyl isobutyl carbonyl uh to go from grade four into powdered titanium and it is the uh powdered titanium no it's the enriched dust that you can make into uh molten enriched dust that you can make into molten if you so desire. However, this also produces pulp 3 that also needs to be processed because that doesn't go directly into molten. Uh, and when you process the pulp 3, you get purified and overflow waste. The, the purified goes into high-grade powder, into concentrated, into high grade so it's all part of it's all part of the high grade processing there's really no point to stopping anywhere in between you just go straight to high grade from g4 uh if you're going through the effort of making this stuff with acetone and petroleum gas uh, you may as well go the rest of the way uh, at that point all right as we as we move along uh with the base i Yes, uh, there is, there is all of all all of the everything uh, to continue to talk about. The next thing that I should do is, uh, let's talk about let let's just talk about everything in this square. Uh, so starting with lead uh, over here, lead also needs acetylene. Uh, this is just coke in, acetylene out. Uh, lead processing, same deal. Five yellow belts of lead that are being processed into lead dust in this build. Note, none of these exist anymore. The lead dust is being loaded onto a train, I think. No, the lead dust is being moved by belt all the way down and over to here, where it is then being processed into high-grade lead and silver. And this is my main high-grade and lead and silver factory uh, right over right over here, right across from the mall. Uh, speaking of right across from the mall, while I'm here, I'll note the uh, the original Nexalit build is here. This converts tailings into ore uh, for Nexalit. Uh, and yeah, so it, it has a build that is consistent tailings as well. Uh, now over here, just to like wrap up what's over on this area, I have a couple of alloy builds, a tin chromium alloy build as well as a Niobium Iron build, and a Molten, once I do eventually get the Molten Titanium, this will make tin, uh, Titanium Chromium Alloy, or, excuse me, Titanium Niobium Alloy, uh, and this is uh, Niobium Iron Alloy, uh, so ne Neo here, Chromium here, so tin Chromium and Neo Iron and Neo Titanium, over here. Once I get titanium, I don't have the molten titanium. 
Yet. Yet. Uh, so that's all of that uh, spoken about. The uh, And the lead spoken about. There's all the acetylene for the lead. Yeah, all of that acetylene for five yellow belts versus that acetylene for five yellow belts on the titanium. There's a little bit of a difference there. All right, next thing on the list is the iron. The iron. Iron. It was originally built to process 10 yellow belts, 150 per second of the ore. Uh, it has now been updated to this on the ore mining. It produces a bit more than that. I don't know exactly off the top of my head. But, uh, and, and it was this entire length of things used to be so many buildings. So many buildings. I have adjusted the buildings a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Uh, to do all of the processing, uh, up through the dust. Iron ore dust, uh, up here. The extra iron ore dust is being put onto my train network for uranium processing. Uh, going up from here, it gets all the way through to the unslimed iron setup. Unslimed iron has been recently nerfed on its production of actual molten, but uh, that does not matter. I was vastly overproducing uh, to begin with by more than, I'm sure, the uh, actual nerf. Nerf was 50%, by the way. It cut the amount of molten that unslimed iron makes in half in half which uh yeah that's a that's a not so slight change not so slight change uh to the production i will absolutely be needing hot air for all of this that is not hot air that is hot air i will absolutely be needing hot air here i think i will absolutely also be needing hot air here on the lead just i'm making I'm making notes of where I need hot air. I will also need hot air somewhere. One of these. We'll need to bring in hot air. And... I... Think... I'm good? Currently. Among all the stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Molten iron gets cast with hot air. This is all steel. Molten steel. Basic steel recipe. Uh... The steel is not hot air at this point in time because I really don't need all that much steel. What I need a lot of is molten stainless steel. Uh, and I need ferrochrome. This is now out of hot air. I am digging through my uh, thingy here. Uh, stainless steel, yeah, I need the hot air as well for that. Uh, stainless steel has not really changed significantly, but super steel has. Uh, and there are better recipes now. Uh, upgraded recipes for... Uh, stainless steel, uh, as well as, uh, or molten stainless steel, I should say, uh, as well as super steel. So, molten stainless steel has this little alloy chain, alloy mix chain now. Mm -hmm.